should not to be used in the absence of a generally recognized definition. Others act as if a policy document that does not mention open standards would automatically lack merit. And I, again, pragmatic Dutch, my position is in between. I don't believe that listing keywords can substitute for policy. Whatever the labels, what matters is the substance. And don't buy when someone is trying to get you in that battle of just fighting on words. And I would urge all the stakeholders to focus on the content of the package rather than the wrapping. And while I'm absolutely certain that this audience is of that type. In developing the substantive policy for European standard setting, it is important to start with basic questions. What is standard? What does a standard look like? And almost always the standard will be embodied in a specification, a document that describes and defines the characteristics. A device or process or object must have to be an implementation of a given standard. And in the case of a formal standard, the specification is drawn up by a standard setting organization pursuant to a well-defined process. For example, the process should be open and transparent and allow for participation. So why should you do it another way? And participation if of all interested stakeholders and not the least to ensure buy-in and market acceptance for the resulting standard. But a standard will be of only limited use for interoperability until many vendors use it as a building block for their product. Let's imagine, ladies and gentlemen, two competing standards that are both technically excellent for a certain task, but differ in the level of constraints for implementers. Which of those two standards do you think will see more implementation and use, including for unforeseen purposes? Question. The one that you can download from a website and that you can implement without restrictions, or the other one which you have to buy, which is restricted to certain fields of use and which requires royalty payments for embodied IPRs? And the answer is obvious. And that is why everybody who cares about interoperability should care about the financial conditions for the use of standards, as well as the indirect 